YouTube, what is good? It is Jamsa2x here, and this episode of Bravery Camp, I'm going to be covering a new character that's going to be coming out next week, according to the streams on Square Enix. So this is Renoa. She's the new marksman in the series, and she's one of the fastest marksmen in terms of movement speed and low casting on HP attacks. She covers short to mid-range, sadly, so it's going to be more or less of just being close to your team as much as possible, and mainly down to the management on Angelo as well. Speaking of Angelo, she can summon the dog Angelo itself and can be sent out to attack an opponent. One of the good things about this is like a sort of insurance policy. If Renoa gets hit with a HP attack over 2000 when Angelo is summoned on the battlefield, Angelo will run over to Renoa and heal her for 200 HP. So anyone who's kind of played Smash Brothers is similar to Rosalina and Luma's mechanics will kind of be familiar with Renoa and Angelo as well. Her EX skill is Angel Wing, which gives her a completely different kick, giving her hard-hitting bravery attacks, but causes her HP to slowly drain out, as she doesn't gain buffs either, other than her HP regen. Um, one thing that I've also noticed is Cleanse debuffs as well, so she might be the truth towards the Enfeeble and Diamond Dust setup that's been going on in the West, so hopefully she counters that. The first match that I'll be covering is Cherry, and he's using me too at the moment with Renoa. So Cherry, a bit of background is that he's one of the most notable players in Japan. He's got every character in Crystal Rank in the arcades, including Renoa as well. And he also recently won Togaiki 2018 over in Japan. So they had an exhibition match and he won that. So yeah, we're going to go right into this match right now. Right, so we've got to start a neutral right here and he instantly summons Angelo right there so we can see on the map that he's just hovering around trying to look for an opportunity to fish in. The way that Angelo works is that um, the enemy that you locked onto and you summon Angelo will constantly stick towards that enemy regardless. So what he's going to be doing right here is that he's probably going to be sitting there peeling and poking looking for an opportunity to um, accumulate bravely but have Angelo watch someone else or watch the flanks. So he's trying really hard to stick with his teammates building a little bit of bravery right there praying Angelo towards Vayne as well because he knows that Angelo um, is going to look for an opportunity alright so Crystal's up on the map right now so they're going to look to invade so Vaughn whiffs his attack and he goes for the jab lock Vaughn goes towards him and punishes um, gets punished by Garland so he instantly turns towards um, Vayne after being broken by Cloud and gets the confirm on Meteor securing the first stop on their team so right now they're just going to look for an opportunity to kind of take advantage of this 2v1 but she's been hit by Ren Shield. So she's staying really close together with the Kuja and the Garland as well. Uh, she had Killing Bravery right there but um, she ended up getting knocked back. So they popped Mighty Strikes as well. So one of the things that I don't really agree with this situation right there is that um, the ES clears the buffs. So, what happened is, is that Renoa, although that she has amplified bravery attacks, she no longer has that Mighty Strikes buff. So they go towards the crystal right now, and Renoa sees an opportunity to kind of peel them away from the crystal. Vaughn goes to look in and whips Azure Torrent, but Kuja gets to punish on Symphonic Force. So, with that whole situation right there, Renoa did the right thing and watched over Kuja, and tried to go for a jab lock and set up, but she got punished by the cloud. So Garland instantly sees this opportunity, and goes to punish the card as well, securing the second stock. So they look to summon right now. So this is looking kind of bleak for a red team because what it is, Renoa's got the EX. So she's going to be able to chunk up loads of bravery. And then with the bravery regen as well. So she needs to constantly catch up bravery um, attacks she can. So they all instantly turn towards Vaughn as well. And Vaughn sees the situation and tries to read it with counter. She ends up, he ends up getting hit by projectiles. Garland goes for the jab lock. And Renoa finishes with Meteor, securing the final stock and securing the victory. So that was really interesting on, with that team and the way that it kind of worked. So it goes to show as well with the way that Garland and Kuja's comp works. Sorry to go a bit off topic. Where those two kind of get rewarded for being aggressive with each other. And their aggression and their kit and their buffs go hand in hand with each other. As we've kind of seen from low profile with the international tournament. So having Renoa to that mix as well kind of adds for more aggression for them to kind of work together as a free, push together as a free, go towards the crystal as a free, and secure stocks of a, as a free with less hassle. Alright guys, so this is the second match of Renoa, and this is also going to be played again by Cherry, and he's running Meteor. 
So the way that this matchup goes, it's on Pandemonium, and she has an Onion Knight, a uh, Kane, and a Vaughn to deal with on the enemy team. So we're going to see a lot more of conservative play from him, as he doesn't really want to get sniped up by the search HP that Onion Knight has, or even feed Vaughn's bravery. Um, she has a card and she has a jet as well, so with this whole match, she's going to be literally playing really conservative, holding back, trying to get pokes now and again, and work with the cloud and work with the jet a lot more. Alright, so instead of holding high side, they end up going to invade straight away. And she goes to look for an opportunity with Angelo. Gets a hit on Vaughn. Goes to look on Vaughn again as well. Like, she, she literally does not want him to build those stacks. Alright, so Va Vain, um, Vaughn, sorry, wishes the Azure Torment. So she ends up throwing Angelo away to get some sort of space. And so the Crystal's coming up now. So one of the plays that I really like about this is that she holds Angelo there. For an opportunity to, so she doesn't get flanked but what she ends up doing is she ends up pelting the onion knight to get, onion knight to get a punish and ends up having the angelo watch the cane so if the cane looks to go in the angelo end up hitting the cane so she'll get a lot of bravery off that so then she's now just literally looking for an opportunity she ends up targeting um Vaughn as he's got a low bravery and ends up getting the break so she's got a lot of bravery right now so what happens here now is that um Vaughn ends up focusing um the cloud and knocking him away and Renoa goes, sees an opportunity and throws Meteor straight away, ends up sniping Vaughn and getting the first kill. So he's going to be shot out of whatever stacks he's ever gained. So he ends up running in and using Ren Shields. So yeah, playing really conservative right there. Using Angelo as an anti to try and push Vaughn off. Vaughn ends up going in and hits with a jab lock and Kane follows up with Fang and Claw. So they're in a bad position. So she's going to be locked away from the fight while they rush towards a crystal. So one of the things that I like, what's really interesting around here is that she ends up using teleport to, to get to the crystal as well. And be in front of her teammates and tries to throw out Meteor as a form of stage control and spacing. Ends up popping Angel Wing. Kane whiffs the jump free. And she uses the opportunity to just peel her poke away. So she's literally hiding right behind her team and trying to peel for them. And she's got a lot of killing bravery as well. So she's going to try and see if she can get an opportunity with Meteor right here but misses. So she ends up getting a summon on Shiva, but here's what the issue is. Because it's um, Pandemonium, it gives the opposite team enough room to run around with. So it's going to be a lot of work for her to put in to try and get some form of confirm. So they end up focusing on Unite. Gets knocked away. Alright, so Vaughn's popped Dreadnought. So whatever he cashes out is still going to keep the same sort of bravery. That she's seen for an opportunity that she gets. So she goes to punish the vein, um, Vaughn, sorry. But because of the um, the Dreadnought, his bravery doesn't break and he still keeps the same bravery. But Renoa at least got some sort of bravery off that to try and confirm a kill. They see Onion Knight on zero bravery and try and look for an opportunity to catch him out. Jet pins him to the wall and she goes for a follow-up with Meteor. But the problem is because she got hit by Kane's jump, she lost whatever bravery she had to confirm that kill. But the thing is, is that... Jack still has a lot of bravery to confirm a kill anyway. So they end up putting Onion Knight on hard knockdown, but end up like hovering over him. Ends up popping Mighty Strikes and Ren Shield goes off as well. With that hit on that, um, Angelo and got a lot of bravery off that. Tries to go for and confirm and gets a hit. So that was a nice hit on Va um, Vaughn right there. Playing really conservative right now as um, Onion Knight's got Sage Mode. Has Angelo watching Vaughn and ends up healing for Vaughn. Notices Onion Knight's alone, so they go for the follow up and tries to jab block him. But Jack actually confirms the second kill. Misses the whiff, or, um, misses the punish on Azure Torment as well. End up focusing Kane as Kane can kill her. Tries to go for another jab block setup. Ends up whiffing the, um, the HP, and Jack's in a really bad situation, so Renault's trying her best to peel out for him. Without getting killed, and Cloud confirms the second kill right there. I mean, the third kill, sorry, confirming the match. So, that whole match right there was more or less just seeing Renoa play really dry. So, she can play really conservative and really dry and still be effective, as we saw in the first match where Cherry was playing really aggressive with her. So, yeah, it, it does work. You can either play her either way, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really hinder us as well, so it kind of like shows a sort of expression of how the character can be played towards your own playstyle. 
Alright guys, so this is going to be the third and final match of my Renault Showcase. So I'm going to be going over the player Hyphen. So Hyphen's actually known for his Noctis and his sort of assassin style play. So it's kind of interesting to kind of see how um, a short ranged aggressive marksman kind of plays in the hands of an assassin. So I decided to use this video to kind of show an example. So he has, so she has, um, Renault has Kuja and jet on her team as well while dealing with a school an ultimecia and a vein so more or less she wants to try and stay in a sort of distance which is actually mid zoning so where she can actually poke the school but not get locked down by the ultimecia as well so we're going to go straight into this match so she ends up throwing a towards um ultimecia with angelo to try and keep her from locking her down so with the whole match right here she needs to keep tabs on school as well so school doesn't actually flank her while poking at the other two as we can kind of see right here, School's looking for an opportunity to go in. So School out um, poises through the projectiles as well. Ends up getting hit on Kudra as well. So she throws Meteor towards the crystal to kind of stop anyone else from approaching it. So yeah, she's literally getting um, scared by School to even attempt to do anything. Ends up going for a jab lock and follows up with a Meteor. Throws out a bravery conduit as well, so she's trying to skip square them off to try and position them. So what the, what she did there was a sort of condition. So she threw the conduit towards the left hand side, which forced them to move towards the right, and she threw a meteor out, eventually catching out the school, securing the first stop right there. So that was really good play by our Renoa. So she's got angel wing, but she's going to look to hold on to it. Tries to lock hold to Missy away and isolate her away from the crystal. So they got the crystal now, and they can summon Shiva whenever they choose to. So, Vayne um, decides to lock out um, Jet away from the fight and ends up going towards the HP move. So, Renoa tries to, out of urgency, throw Meteor to stop the punish. But School immediately sees Renoa open and punishes her and ends up chipping away a bit of her health. So, that's one of the issues with this match is that um, Renoa was trying so hard to try and keep tabs on the School. And School goes at it again, so they end up summoning Shiva, but the cutscene kind of gets cut out right here. So you don't see the Shiva animation. But School instantly was just right in front of her face, which was a sort of bad play by her to get a summon. And she loses a lot of damage for that. Ultimus is on low bravery right there. And School ends up getting killed again. So since School's actually away from the um, playing field, they're going to try and see if they can isolate the vein and get something off it. So what Renault is actually doing right here is that she's using the traps to her advantage and just poking her way for free. So if they approach her, um, she's... Um, she's going to be able to get follow-ups because they'll run into the diamond dust, I mean the frozen trap, sorry, and then she can get free follow-ups with HPs. So Ultimisa looking on no bravery, but she's bravery conduit to break her and get the bonus off that. School's on no bravery as well. So there's another thing that I was saying before, like she was literally hovering around the trap, so the only way School would have been able to deal with that situation is if, she was, if, if School was on the ground and he done the down two, which is the funnel that pulled her in, that was the only option he really had. If he ran in just silly nearly, he would have got frozen. And that would have been like a meaty fatal hit from Renault. So she ends up um, hitting school with Angelo and gets a break off that with a lot of um, bravery. So she has enough um, bravery to follow up on the jab lock by Jet. Hits with Meteor and confirms the third stock finishing the third match. Alright, so that match right there was kind of to sit there and show like how you kind of deal with certain assassins and the way that you want to do it. So more or less you want to kind of place Angelo around the assassin while kind of poking at the other two. But in that sort of situation there, you had to be really cautious of, um, sorry, she had to be really cautious of where she picked fights so she didn't get locked down by the Ultimisa with her long enduring hits. So yeah guys, that's going to be the end of um, my Renoa showcase. Hopefully I will be able to cover more of the other DLC characters and also when the new DLC characters when they get um, announced and when they get put on God Struggle like two days afterwards. So be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.